Good morning, Mr. Crow. Right, good morning, everyone. How are you doing? It's Paul here from Unusual Things. Now, this morning, I am at Brompton Cemetery. Um, Kensington area, Fulham. Um, and this is a big cemetery. This is classed as one of the magnificent seven of uh, London cemeteries, or the um, unu not unusual seven. That's me making things up. Um, but yeah, it's a, an old cemetery. It's got a lot of history to it. It's really dark at the moment. I know it looks like it's quite light out, but that's because I'm by the, by the road there. I'm the only person in here. I've just literally seen the guy open it up. And uh, as usual in cemeteries, in the mornings, you hear nature and you hear lots of other little weird noises as well, which makes you think, what the hell is that? Um, but this morning, We've come here to see the final resting place of Emmeline Pankhurst. Now, of course, you will all know her from the suffragette movement. Um, I'll tell you a bit more about her in a moment. Um, so if you like the video today, if you could give it a thumbs up for me. And of course, if you haven't done so already, uh, maybe subscribe to the channel if this is your sort of thing. If it's your first time here, welcome. And. Um, yeah, if you are a subscriber and you want to know when the new videos come out, make sure you hit that little notification bell and uh, you'll be brought up to date as to when all the new videos come out. I don't know where the camera's going. Look at it, it's amazing, isn't it? I love it, it's great. Right, anyway, let's get on with it, shall we? I'll tell you some more information about Emily Pankhurst. Emmeline Pankhurst, knee golden, 15th of July 1858 to the 14th of June 1928, was an English political activist who organised the UK suffragette movement and helped women win the right to vote. In 1999, Time named her as one of the 100 most important people of the 20th century, stating that she shaped an idea of objects for our time and shook society into a new pattern from which there could be no going back. She was widely criticised for her militant tactic and historians disagree about their effectiveness, but her work is recognised as a crucial element in achieving women's suffrage in the United Kingdom. Born in the Moss Eye district of Manchester to politically active parents, Pankhurst was introduced at the age of 14 to the women's suffrage movement. She founded and became involved with the Women's Franchise League, which advocated suffrage for both married and unmarried women. When that organisation broke apart, she tried to join the left-leaning Independent Labour Party through her friendship with socialist Keir Hardy, but was initially refused membership in the local branch on account of her sex. While working as a poor law guardian, she was shocked at the harsh conditions she encountered in Manchester's workhouses. In 1903, Pankhurst founded the Women's Social and Political Union, WSPU, an all-women suffrage advocacy organisation dedicated to deeds, not words. The group identified as independent from and often in opposition to political parties. It became known for physical confrontations. Its members smashed windows and assaulted police officers. Pankhurst, her daughters and other WSPU activists received repeated prison sentences where they staged hunger strikes to secure better conditions and were often force-fed. As Pankhurst's eldest daughter Christabel took leadership of the WSPU, antagonism between the group and the government grew. Eventually the group adopted arson as a tactic and more moderate organisations spoke out against the Pankhurst family. In 1913, several prominent individuals left the WSPU, among them Pankhurst's younger daughters, Adelia and Sylvia. Emmeline was so furious that she gave Adelia a £20 ticket and a letter of introduction into the suffragette in Australia and firmly insisted that she emigrated. Adelia complied and the family rift was never healed. Sylvia became a socialist. With the advent of the First World War, Emmeline and Christabel called an immediate halt to the militant terror terrorism in support of the British government's stand against the German peril. Emmeline organised and led a massive procession called the Women's Right to Serve demonstration to illustrate women's contribution to the war effort. Emmeline and Christabel urged women to aid industrial production and encouraged young men to fight becoming prominent figures in the White Feather movement. In 1918, 
the representation of the People Act granted votes to all men over the age of 21 and women over the age of 30. This discrepancy was intended to ensure that men did not become the minority voters as a consequence to the huge number of deaths suffered during the First World War. She transformed the WSPU machinery into the Women's Party, which was dedicated to promoting women's equality in public life. In her later years, she became concerned with what she perceived as the menace posed by Bolshevism and joined the Conservative Party. She was selected as the Conservative candidate for the Whitechapel in St George's area in 1927. She died on the 14th of June 1928, only weeks before the Conservative government's representation of the People Equal Franchise Act 1928 extended the vote to all women over 21 years of age and the 2nd of July 1928 she was commemorated two years later with a statue of Victoria Tower Gardens next to the Houses of Parliament. So there's all the information there on Emmeline Pankhurst. Well, I mean, what a lady, you know. Um, not only what she did for women, but also what she's done for inclusion. Um, and, you know, as we know, these in this day and age, we should be more inclusive. Uh, there's a long way to go for a lot of things yet. Um, but she set the trend. So, yeah. Anyway. I think I found it. I don't know if you can see it there. In loving memory of Emmeline Pankhurst. Wife of M. M. Pankhurst. Al Aldi. At rest, I V N E E, that looks like. 14, 1908. Come back here, I might be able to work it out a bit better. So, there we have the final resting place there. Emmeline Pankhurst and we've all got a lot to thank that lady for so bless you Emmeline thank you very much for what you've done and like I said earlier um, not only for women's rights but for everyone's really for inclusion and to um, allow people to have a voice and I think that's so important these days that it's something that you know isn't always brought into consideration is it and you know we, I'd like to think we're getting better at it but pff, still a long way to go yet. Anyway, Emmeline Pankhurst, wow. Don't forget if you liked the video today, give it a thumbs up. And uh, as always, leave your comments down below. And uh, yeah, on a beautiful, cold, crisp morning. I shall see you all on the next one. Take it easy.